dominated by pitchers, but not anymore. From the Pacific Northwest, it's the thunder of Sarah Pickering with two World Series home runs. Out of the Arizona desert comes the hotbed of Jenny Dalton, the most dominating hitter in the college game. Today, it's power versus power. Washington and Arizona slug it out for the national championship next. We're at Golden Park in Columbus, Georgia for the Women's College World Series National Championship. It's the top two teams in the country, the one seed Washington and the two seed Arizona. And welcome to Columbus, I'm Beth Mullins. These two teams, two of the most potent offensive attacks in the country. Let's check out some of the numbers they've been putting up all year long, and they are very impressive. Arizona 356 hitting. 415 RBIs and 46 home runs. Washington also putting up some impressive numbers. 343 at the plate as a team. 370 RBIs and 36 long balls for the Huskies. Joining me today is Tracy Warren. And Tracy, gone are the days, obviously, when pitching rules here at the College World Series. You're looking at the number three and four offenses in the nation in Arizona and Washington. Both teams hitting better than 360 in this College World Series. Arizona averaging six runs per game. Washington averaging eight. Now, when you take a look at the Arizona lineup, they've got the best one-two power combo in the country. Talking about Jenny Dalton and Letty Pineda. Jenny Dalton, the nation's home run leader, was true to form in yesterday's semifinal against Iowa. Her solo shot in the fifth capped a perfect three for three day. She's hitting a sizzling 750 and right behind her, Letty Pineda, a three run home run in the first open the floodgates for the Arizona Wildcats. Now on the other side for the Huskies, they let their bats do the talking as well and this weekend they've been making a lot of noise. The team's leader in hits, Sarah Pickering, came through in yesterday's semifinal against UCLA. She picked up her second home run in this College World Series. She's leading the team with six RBIs and it always helps when the bottom of the order comes through. Janine Giordano's double pushed home three and is giving Washington their first ever shot at the College World Series championship. All right, we've got Washington and Arizona. They've played all season for the chance to play today for the national championship. First pitch from Columbus coming up right after this. Welcome back to the Women's College World Series National Championship here in Columbus, Georgia, Arizona, and Washington. It's a Pac-10 party to determine who gets to take home the title. They are the top two seeds in this tournament. They've been ranked number one and number two since the middle of the year, and they will be playing in some hot conditions today. 92 degrees, 80 percent is the humidity at game time. Let's check out now the Nike starting lineups. For Arizona, the visitors today, Brandi Shriver, Andrea Doty, Allison Johnson, Jenny Dalton, Letty Pineda, Krista Gomez, Lisa Pitt, Julie Raytan, and Melissa Chernoff. Defensively for the Washington Huskies, who are making their first appearance in this College World Series, Mindy Williams, Shelley Brown, and Becky Dubry in the outfield. Heather Tarr, Tammy Storseth, Sari Pickering, and Michelle Church in the infield. Jennifer Klein is the backstop, and Heather Meyer, with a record of 25 and 3, is on the mound. There you see Meyer's numbers 25 and 3, but just one loss as a starter. And she's got three wins against the Arizona Wildcats this year. They split their series. So this is the rubber match and also for the title. And we have seen a lot of emotion already here pregame from both of these clubs, Trace. Washington going with Heather Meyer, even though she pitched the semifinal game in the win over UCLA. They have two other pitchers. But again, she has faced this Arizona ball club. As you can see, these two teams are dead even. Split the series at three games apiece. And that doubleheader sweep by Seattle is what ultimately gave them the Pac-10 title over Mike Candrea's Arizona club. 11th season for Candrea. Six years in a row. Now his club has played for the national championship. They've won it three times. And it was kind of scary yesterday, Tracy, when he said that this year's team is actually probably the most prepared to play this game he's ever had. Considering he had Laura Espinosa last year who hit an NCAA record 85 home runs and five All-Americans, it says a lot about 
this second ranked Arizona team. Randy Schreiber will lead it off the center fielder for Arizona and the first pitch for Meyer is a strike. Junior from Glendale Arizona. Hitting 366 on the season 400 here in the College World Series. She and slaps that foul. The philosophy of the first two batters atop the Arizona Wildcat lineup is just put the ball in play. Make the defense handle it. Put the pressure on them with your speed. It's been effective for Mike Candrea all season. It's been effective in this College World Series. There you see her numbers. Four singles, so she's been setting the table for the heart of the order. 0-2 pops it up. And the catch is made at third by Heather Tarr. So there's one away. And that's just great defensive recruiting by the Washington Huskies. As we had mentioned, they've seen Arizona six times, infield drawn in. Heather Meyer giving a lot of all-speed pitches to Shriver. Next up will be Andrea Doty, the right fielder. There you see Doty. 303 on the season, a junior from Midway City, California. She too, a slap hitter, takes that one low for a ball. Andrea Doty was the leadoff hitter for Arizona in this coming into this season, but she struggled a lot in April. Mike Andrea moved Shriver to one, and Doty down to two. Myers 1 0 pitch, slapped over. The shortstop's head, base hit for Doty. The infield was in, and that went over the top of Tammy Storseth for a single. Andrea Doty picking up her 67th hit on the year, and it is just the slap. Just to make contact with the ball, get yourself on base and find the gap, and Andrea Doty did that. So now Allison Johnson comes to the plate. The dangerous three hitter. She's a sophomore from Irvine, California, and 439 on the year. Meyer also has to be aware of Doty over at first. She's got some good speed on the base pass. Johnson thought about the bump, takes a strike. Arizona is a running team, very aggressive on the bases. Mike Andrea likes to bunt, slap, and run. They also like to make things happen in the early part of the game. Andrea giving the size to Johnson. A first team All-American selection this year. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Slaps it back up the middle. Base hit for the Cats. Two singles in a row here in the first inning. Arizona scored three times in the first inning yesterday in the semis. That was off of the Letty Pineda home run. And what you have to look forward to by pitching to Jen Dalton, the best hitter in women's college softball. Heather Meyer has her work cut out for her, so she wants to confer with Jennifer Klein. I talked to Teresa Wilson, and I said, will you pitch to Dalton? She says, I won't let their best player beat us. So I don't think they'll throw anything good to the All-American. Dalton has gotten on base nine of 10 times in this College World Series, she's been walked six times. 469, seventh best average in the country, so she's not just a power hitter either. And you can see Heather Meyer is going at Jenny Dalton. A low inside curve for strike one. Senior from Glendale, California. She takes a good whack at it. Foul down the left field line. 0-2 now to Dalton. And again, just the swing of the bat, the connection elicits some oohs and ahs from the fans here in Columbus. Dalton had a grand slam in the regionals. The home run, her first in this College World Series yesterday against Iowa. There you see the numbers. Now 0-2 delivery. Goes inside, ball one. Andrea Doty at second. Allison Johnson over at first. Jenny Dalton checks the signal from Coach Candrea. Letty Pineda, who also hit a home run yesterday, is on deck. One and two the count. Dalton, another solid connection. 
Fouls it away, and she's out in front of Meyer. And this is what makes Jenny Dalton such a tough hitter to pitch to. She's got tremendous plate coverage with her bat. She's got a lot of muscle to her upper body, so you get the quick wrists, the very level swing, and the strong driving power. Heather Meyer is trying to throw all off-speed pitches. She's throwing about the mid-50 range right now. One and two still to count to Dalton. And she slaps that one into left field, and that is gone! Home run for Jenny Dalton! On a check swing! She did not even take a full swing at that. And it's a three-run shot, and the Cats are up 3-0 in the top of the first. that ball ever got above 15 feet off the ground. And Heather Meyer says, what more can I do? The nation's leader in home runs now pushes across her 25th. And how happy is the senior All-American? Take a look at this pitch, what look, which looks like it's at the ankles of Jenny Dalton. And this is a short testament to the strength of the senior, who just has that tremendous upper body strength and drives it in what looks like a check swing. But it's the tremendous driving force as she fo follows through. And look at the celebration for Arizona. Jenny Dalton, the three-run home run, her second HR in two days. And Coach Wilson said she would not let Arizona's best player beat her. Well, Dalton tagged that one. And now Letty Pineda. And that was on an excuse me pitch. Yeah. Not even on a full swing. That's an impressive shot from Jenny Dalton. <laughs> one and one now, the count to Letty Pineda. Well, we start out with a bang here in the national championship. Arizona jumping on top of Washington, three nothing here in the first on Dalton's three run round tripper. Pineda fouls one away. And Letty Pineda. The number five hitter for Mike Andrea said she was kind of got tired of so many people pitching around Jenny Dalton. Dalton, who had six walks coming into this World Series. Yesterday, Pineda let her bat through the talking with the three-run home run in the first inning against Iowa. One and two, the count to Pineda. That one misses low and inside. Meyer really trying to keep the ball low out of the power zone for these Arizona hitters. Johnson, Dalton, Pineda all have driving power. Two and two, one away here in the first. That one misses as well, full count. Well, Heather Meyer has now given up a home run in each of her appearances here in the College World Series. Full count to Pineda. And that one misses ball four. Arizona fans liking what they see so far. Pineda on first, and now Krista Gomez, the third baseman, will step up. And already Washington has pitchers warming up in the outfield. Looks like Eve Gaw getting ready. The sophomore pitcher out of Corona, California. Gomez getting 407 on the season. Bunts one foul. And Gomez is another one of those hitters who has the ability to slap or hit for power. Krista Gomez comes into this College World Series with a 375 average, three RBIs. Mike Andrea put her down at the number six spot to clean up whatever Letty Pineda couldn't do. Gomez three for eight in this women's College World Series. This is high, ball one. Myers really got a bear down here. You can see the heat, the 90 degree temperatures. She pitched a seven inning game just yesterday in the semifinals. She's trying to hit her spots, keep the ball low, but also your defense has to come through. One and one, the count to Gomez. Now two and one. 
And Meyer just doesn't look sharp in this first inning, Beth. Her pitches aren't hitting the corners like we saw yesterday. She's not getting that low corner call like she was yesterday. Two and one. Pineda over at first. And that's in for a strike, two and two. Well, if anybody has the firepower to come back from a, a blow like this early on, it would be the Huskies. They've got some big bats of their own. Fly ball out to left center, and the catch is made by Shelly Brown, so there are now two down. First baseman number 11, Lisa Pitt. That will bring up Lisa Pitt playing first base today. She was the winning pitcher yesterday in the semifinal win over Iowa. Mike Andrea likes the versatility from his pitchers. Lisa Pitt, much like Nancy Evans, Nancy Evans redshirting this year, along with Leah Bratz, who left to have a baby, Leah O'Brien, who's with the U.S. Olympic team. That's in for a strike, the first delivery to Pitt. Pitt, a freshman from Buena Park, California. Struggling a bit here in the Women's College World Series. Fly ball out to left, and the catch is made by Mindy Williams. So the side is retired, but Arizona draws first blood. Jenny Dalton, a three-run home run, and Arizona, Arizona grabs the early 3-0 lead over the top-seeded Washington Huskies. Let's take a look now at the Nike starting lineups for Washington. Shelly Brown, Tammy Storset, Sarah Pickering, Jennifer Klein, Michelle Church, Becky Newbury, Janine Giordano, Mindy Williams, and Heather Tarr. Defensively for the Arizona Wildcats, Allison Johnson, Brandi Schreiber, and Andrea Doty are in the outfield. Krista Gomez, Michelle Chernoff, Jenny Dalton, and Lisa Pitt make up the infield. Letty Pineda is doing the catching. And on the mound, junior Carrie Dolan. 34 and six on the season is Dolan. Two and two against the Huskies this year. 92 strikeouts on the season for Dolan. And she has a win here in the Women's College World Series, a shutout victory over UCLA, 4-0 on a five-hitter. If you looked at the numbers when these two teams had played each other six, six times over the year, both teams average four runs per game against opposing pitching. Carrie Dolan has a tendency to average letting up three runs per game, and Heather Meyer three runs per game. Well, now Meyer's let up her three. Let's see what Dolan can do in the bottom of the first. Dolan has been in this situation before. She pitched in last year's national championship game, which Arizona lost to UCLA. And Shelly Brown will lead it off for the Huskies and their head coach, Teresa Wilson. 184 and 79 at Washington. She started this program and in a very short period of time has developed it into a national powerhouse. And this their first trip to the College World Series in their first national championship game. Brown, a 388 hitter. First delivery from Dolan is a ball. She's been struggling in this World Series, one for 12, still trying to find the good pitch. She's basically a slap hitter who uses her speed to motor down the line. 1 0 the count. That one's fouled away. We're even at 1 and 1. Five years ago, Beth, Washington didn't even have a program. Barbara Hedges, the athletic director, hired Teresa Wilson, said, I'll give you a year, go ahead and recruit. You don't need to play. She recruited all these players, a nucleus of six seniors, and said, I, four years will be in the College World Series. And four years. They did it. They're in the College World Series, their first ever. Slap to short. Chernock is there. And makes the play for out number one. Michelle Chernock, the freshman, takes care of Brown. And now Tammy Storseth will come to the plate. Storseth, one of those seniors, the original six. Now to Kirkland, Washington. Hitting 378 on the year. 500, though, here in the College World Series. Either color. 
and you can see that wrap on Sorstedt's front foot. She had sprained her ankle two games ago in this College World Series when she was crossing the plate against Cal. It was severe enough so that she was listed as questionable for yesterday's semifinal, but she did play. That one just fouled on the third baseline, so the count now one and one to Storseth. She had a good game in the semifinals with two hits, and there you see the wrap. And once the game was no longer in doubt, Washington had the lead eight to two. She actually came out of the game to give that ankle a little rest. But uh, nothing was going to stop her from playing in the national championship game. Right now, though, she's down one and two to Dolan. And the philosophy of the top two hitters for Washington, much like Arizona, slap, make the defense, make the plays, put the pressure on them. The more they handle it, the more chance for mistakes. One and two delivery coming from Carrie Dolan. Dolan thought she had it, just misses. Arizona here in the bottom of the first. Jenny Dalton, a three-run home run. That one misses as well. Count is now full to Storsep. And Dolan works the inside-outside corner. She's got a drop, a change, a screwball, a rise, and a curve. She's used a curve to hit the outside corner on the last two pitches. One away, full count now. And there's a base hit for Jamie Storsep right up the middle. Dorseth continues her hot hitting in this Women's College World Series. And is on first now with Sarah Pickering coming to the plate. Pickering already two home runs in this Women's College World Series. And Washington, like Arizona, likes to strike in the early innings. They're a team that scores 56% of their runs in the first three innings. A 408 hitter. Junior All-American from Corona, California. One out and one on now for Pickering. Strike on the outside corner. Pickering's someone who has that slugger stance. She's got all muscle, much like Jenny Dalton in the upper body. Take a look, John Rittman, their assistant coach and their batting instructor. Every Washington batter has the same stance, the same grip, the same approach to the plate. That one misses low and away. Dolan trying to nibble with that outside corner. Six for 11 in this Women's College World Series. Getting the sign from Coach Wilson. One and one the count. Just missed inside. Marty McCarr, our home plate umpire. Dennis Wren over at first base and Horace Murdoch at third. And this is where Dolan really needs to show her maturity. The screwball didn't fall for a strike and she's almost begging for the umpire to, hey, didn't that hit? She's got to bear down, find something else that's working. Two and one to Pickering. And that one's in the dirt. Runner stays over at first. Storseth doesn't go. Yesterday we saw her substituted for a pinch runner due to the ankle injury, but she's still out there on first base. Now three and one the count to Sarah Pickering. And this is a hitter's pitch. And she hit it all right. Drops in for a base hit. And Pickering is safe at first. <laughs> Fell at the feet of Andrea Doty. Doty made a nice play to try and get Pickering at first anyways, but everybody's safe. Dolan working the outside corner with the curve, and Pickering, true to form, goes right with the ball. A nice heads-up play by Doty, who tries to get Pickering at first, but they're safe all around. Doty used to play left field. Mike Candrea has kind of had a carousel there in the outfield. Johnson was in center. She's now on left. Doty was in left, is in right, and Shriver's in center. Can Jennifer Klein now match Dalton's feet and tie this game up? Pitch from Dolan misses inside. 
Klein also a hot bat in the series. 397 on the year. But four for four yesterday in the semifinal win over UCLA. One zero pitch. That's in for a strike. And a great job of framing by Letty Pineda, who's selling the inside corner. Keep telling Carrie Dolan, keep the ball low, hit those corners. Jennifer Klein, the senior from Westminster, California. Two-time All-Pac-10 selection. Now one and one, and Klein calls a timeout. And Klein is someone who is cold coming into this College World Series. Had a good regional, but the first two games just couldn't get her back going. Then explodes for four hits in yesterday's game against UCLA. Grounded a short, and the play is made to third by Chernock. Well, there's one away. Check that two, two down now. Line at first on the fielder's choice. And now Michelle Church will face Carrie Dolan. Church, a 372 hitter on the year, but has been quiet thus far here in Columbus. Two out, two on. Low ball one. Church, senior from Riverside, California. And an All-American this year, first teamer, but just two for 12 in the series. Got a piece of that one, popped it up though. Dalton calling off Chernock to make the play, and the side is retired. Two left on by the Huskies. Arizona heads to the top of the second with the three nothing lead. Here in the second, Julie Raytan, Michelle Chernock, and Brandy Shriver. Raytan is super semi. She was three for three, lays down a nice bunt. Play is made and the throw hits Raytan, she's safe. And now called out by the home plate umpire. The throw from Tar hit Raytan and I believe the home plate umpire has called her out. Argument coming from Mike Candre and Amy Shellable down in the first base coach's box. And obviously, if Raytan ran to the inside of the bag and was hit in the back while on the inside of the bag, she is out. And it is a good call by the home plate umpire. Coaches tell runners to run on the outside part and take another look at Raytan, the speedster, track star in high school, just lays it down. The good pickup by Heather Tarr. And then the throw. And if you don't have a chance, fire at the back. She is inside the line and a good call by the home plate umpire. So Ray Tan is out down at first. And now Candrea giving the signals to his freshman shortstop, Michelle Chernock. 306 hitter on the year from Orange, California. Takes a strike. Most coaches would love to have a number nine hitter batting 306. What Michelle Chernock does well is slap. She can hit for power, but Mike Andre likes her to set the table for the top of the order. That one just misses. One and one the count. And the interesting thing with Arizona is you see Chernock's World Series numbers four for seven. The top four in the order are hitting 371, and the bottom four are hitting 394. Little chopper to second. Pick and we'll have to hurry, not in time. Chernock beats it out. The freshman's 56th hit on the year, and take a look, takes advantage of the dried out infield. Sarah Pickering has to wait for the ball to fall, and Michelle Chernock uses her speed to get the infield single. So Chernock down at first in the top of the order coming up for the Wildcats. Brandy Shriver popped out in her first trip. Pops that one foul. And Mike Andre is saying to Shriver, who knows better, 
don't go after pitches like that heather meyer very smartly will try to throw shriver arise so she will pop it up and give the infield a chance to perhaps turn a double play catch her not sleeping at first brain has got to be careful she was, she was in the doghouse yesterday when she <laughs> over slid second base and slaps that one off the glove of Meyer. And a heads up play by Pickering to get the out at second. The All American showing her stuff. Take a good look, Shriver. The infield in tries to drive it past the infield. Pickering, a nice job of getting the shoulder square, hitting Storseth, and getting the force. So now two down, and Andrea Doty, who singled and scored in the first. She was the first one across the plate on Jenny Dalton's home run. And now the pitch from Heather Meyer. Popped up down the third baseline. And Heather Tarr runs out of room. Cameraman down there almost had to come up with the catch. You could take yourself out of an inning when you're going after bad pitches, and Bo Shriver and Doty are going after the Meyer rise ball. Doing that, they're going to pop the ball up. Mike Andrea just gave Doty the sign below the belt. Look for something below the belt. Two down here in the top of the second. Brandy Shriver down at first. And it misses inside. And you see Jennifer Klein looking for Church to get back to the bag. She wanted to make a throw down to try and catch Shriver. One and one now the count to Andrea Doty. Another one popped back up into the screen. So now Doty behind one and two. We'll see if Mike Andrea sends Shriver, who is probably one of the fastest on the team. She's third in steals with 17. One and two with two down now to Doty. Throw down to first, Shriver gets back in time. Klein, the gun for the arm, keeping Shriver honest, knowing her speed, knowing what she's capable of, and knowing who she's coached by. And both the Washington middle infielders just talk to one another and said, be alert. Two and two with two down. Punched to short, and it gets through the legs of Storset. Doty safe at first. And the official scorer will give Doty a hit on that one, so she's now two for two. Shriver moves over to second. And Brandy Shriver had drawn the attention of Tammy Storseth, who was leaning towards second base. The reason she was out of position when that ball just lay dead right before her, her momentum was going to second base, but the ball just lay dead at her feet. A nice job of back control for Andrea Doty. So Johnson also singled in the first and scored. And she now has two on with two away here in the top of the second. Cats are already up 3 nothing. That one a little low, ball one. Allison Johnson was projected last year to be the leadoff hitter to take Amy Chelevold's place. Mike Andrea likes her power and says, much like Dalton was in her younger years, she's been overshadowed, but she's got a great bat, better, batting better than 430. Johnson fouls that one away. One and one now the count. And you know Meyer wants to get out of this inning when you've got Jenny Dalton on deck. Trying to get a ground ball here. She'll use the drop. Use the in curve. One and one delivery. 
Two and one. Heather Meyer, the senior from Lancaster, California. 25 and three on the year. That was tops in the Pac-10. And she was a first team All-American. And what makes her so effective is her variety of pitches and speed. She has a screwball, a change, a curve, a drop, and a rise. But she goes anywhere from 44 to 57. She got a hold of that one. And that one will be extra bases. One run is in. Doty being waved around. She'll score as well. A two-run double for Allison Johnson. And Arizona has the 5 nothing lead. command her 40th RBI on the year just going with the Meyer pitch Meyer not sharp laying her pitches up in the strike zone and all Becky Newbury can do is try to get the run at the plate the throw is late for Doty and Arizona pushes two more runs across the plate the Cats take the five nothing lead and a pitching change coming up for the Washington Huskies Welcome back to Columbus, Georgia, the Women's College Softball World Series National Championship game. Arizona leading 5 0. Let's take a look now at the Sears Director's Cup standings. It's awarded to schools based on points that they win from men's and women's athletic competition in 22 different sports during the season. Stanford on top right now, followed by Penn State, Michigan, Nebraska, and UCLA. And rounding out the top 10, Ohio State, Wisconsin, North Carolina, Florida, and Texas. The Sears Director's Cup standings. And the new pitcher for the Washington Huskies, Eve Gaw, sophomore from Corona, California, 20 and 2 on the season with a 1.65 ERA. Beth Heather Meyer obviously was very tired, only faced 12 batters, but her pitches weren't crisp. She wasn't hitting the corners, and Jenny Dalton didn't help her out at all in the first inning. And here comes Dalton. The first to face Eve Gaw. That one misses high. Jenny Dalton, in case you missed it in the first inning, here it is again, a bloop home run. And excuse me, pitch looks like a drop that really falls out of the strike zone. Dalton goes down for it, a three-run home run, and gave Arizona the 3-0 lead in the first. And you can see Gall is not going to take any chances. The first two pitches rise balls up and out of the strike zone. One of the harder throwers for the Washington Husky staff. Whereas Meyer is finesse, Gall is more power and fastball. Allison Johnson is down at second. Her double chased Heather Meyer, and now Gaw is on to face Dalton. And 3-0 and oh, the count to Jenny Dalton. Three in the first, two here in the second for the Wildcats, trying to win their third national championship in the last four years. And it's probably not a coincidence that Dalton has been a part of them. And Dalton issued the base on balls for Jenny. That's the seventh of this College World Series for her. And Letty Pineda had told us yesterday in the press conference, she's so used to pitchers going around Jenny Dalton. She wants to have that focus. What she's looking at, different from Myers, a pitcher who's about five miles per hour faster. And I saw Pineda taking her warm-up swings, trying to just quicken her step, quicken her trigger, and be on top of the offerings of Eve Gall. Pineda now comes to the plate. She walked in the first inning. 0-1 in the count. Johnson at second. Dalton at first, still two away. Pineda rips one foul down the left field line. Nice play made out in the stands. Good catch by one of the fans. And there you saw what happens when Eve Gall gets her rise ball up in the strike zone. O2 
two delivery. Pineda grounded a short. Storseth is there, and the side is retired. But Arizona strikes for two more on a two-run double from Allison Johnson. The Wildcats chase the starter, Heather Meyer, and have the 5 nothing lead. Arizona in front of Washington, 5 nothing here in the national championship game as we head to the bottom of the second inning. Six, seven, and eight coming up. Newbury, Giordano, and Williams for the Huskies. This is Becky Newbury, freshman from Olympia, Washington. Yeah, she actually came to Washington on a volleyball recruiting trip. Took a look at the school, and Teresa Wilson got word that she was also interested in softball. Little investigation by the freshman, and she made the softball team. And the coaching staff certainly happy that she decided to take that route. We just saw a moment ago, 384 hitter on the season. And that's the reason the freshmen's cracked the lineup. A team that has seven seniors. This freshman's bat really has spoken volumes for this powerful hitting Washington club. 2-0 and pitch. Grounded to second. Dalton is there. One down. Many people wondering how Jenny Dalton can be left off the U.S. Olympic softball team. She is the most feared hitter in women's college softball. Got Julie Smith from Fresno State playing that position. I asked Dalton if she'd try for the year 2000. She said, nope, it was a one-shot deal. I didn't make it, I'm not gonna try. Grounder to Dalton again, and Jenny from her yeah. backside makes the play. Little gymnastics thrown into the softball World Series. Jenny Dalton came into this game with a little more fire in her eyes, and her stick to it this really paid off. You can see the upper body strength once again from Jenny Dalton, this time from the fielding end as she gets it by a good step. Mindy Williams, the batter, and she takes a strike. Dalton not particularly known for her defense, but she showed something there. She might want to rethink that 2000 Olympics. <laughs> Williams pops one up. Side is retired as Chernock makes the catch it short. Three up and three down. A quick inning for Arizona. And they're all smiles because they get to pick up the bats again. They've got the 5-0 lead. Welcome back to the Women's College World Series. 5-0 Arizona on top as we head to the top of the third inning. The NCAA College World Series for the men begins on Friday, 4 Eastern, 1 Pacific on ESPN. And then ESPN2 will pick up the coverage Friday night at 8 o'clock Eastern. Cal State Fullerton not returning to defend their title, so there will be a new champion crowned in the NCAA College World Series this year. Krista Gomez slaps to short, Storseth, Church, and one down. A veteran infield for this Washington Husky team. They returned all infielders from last year as well as all three pitchers. First baseman number 11. They Lisa had Pitt. hit the number one ranking about midseason when they had split with Arizona, split with UCLA, moved to number one. Arizona dropped out of one and moved to two. First delivery misses inside the Lisa Pitt. She flew out to uh, right field back in the first inning. She's been struggling in this College World Series. Beth, it's all about pitch selection. Hasn't gotten anything that she really can drive. That one misses as well, ball two. Washington, the number one seed. Arizona, the number two seed. Huskies, their first appearance in the national championship game, sixth year in a row that the Wildcats have been playing in this. Looking at the radar gun on Eve Gall, she's throwing on average five miles per hour quicker, up at about the 60-61, where Heather Meyer was throwing about 54-55. Three and all the count. Hit, walks. The uh, third walk of the game issued by Husky pitchers. 
With Harry Dolan throwing only five pitches last inning, this works to Arizona's advantage. Keep Washington on the defensive end, keep the attack up. Julie Raytan, another one of those slappers who's got great speed, sets the table. 0 for 1, grounded out in the second inning on that uh, somewhat controversial call down at first base. Ray Tan was inside the baseline. Three for three, as we said yesterday, and a terrific game for her. Also had a couple of stolen bases, so if she gets on, she can get into scoring position in a hurry. Now one misses low. That one actually hits for a strike. Julie Ray Tan came into the season a very unorthodox swing, and Mike Candrea, known for his hitting instruction, has really worked with his sophomore. She's changed her mental approach into this College World Series where she said she needs to be more aggressive, and she's been real effective. 0-2 delivery. Strike three called on Ray Tan. First strikeout of the game for Eve Gaw. Two down now with Lisa Pitt down at first. And a great pitch by Eve Gaw as she goes to her drop. Raytan bailing out of the batter's box. Doesn't go after it and strike three. Michelle Chernock. Singled back in the second inning. Chernock now hitting. 571 for the College World Series. Pops that one up to Storseth at short. And that's the third out of the inning. So some quick work for the Huskies. And we'll take a break. We've played two and a half, five nothing, Arizona. The Arizona Wildcats leading the Washington Huskies 5-0 as we head to the bottom of the third. Not many schools bring a band to a softball game except when you're the Washington Huskies. The band went to seven home games, went to regionals, which the Washington Huskies hosted, and they said if you make it to nationals, the band goes. So for the first time ever in a College World Series, we have a band, and we love it. <laughs> Been providing a lot of entertainment between innings here. Heather Tara, the batter for Washington. And it's a 2 and 0 count. We're asking the NCAA Rules Committee what the rules are for bands. Do they play in between innings, top of innings, during the game? And they said there are no rules for bands in softball games. Grounded to Gomez at third. The throw over to Pitt, one away. Carrie Dolan is doing a fine job of stifling the offense of the Washington Huskies. Here's a team that loves to strike in the first three innings. When she's got a strong defense like Krista Gomez, a four-year starter at third base behind her, it helps that you can go out there and pitch your game. Top of the order now for Washington, Shelly Brown, 0 for 1 today. Grounded to short. Little slap up the middle, Dalton will have to hurry. Safe at first is Brown. Good hustle by Shelly Brown to get down the line. And the Huskies have a runner on with one away. The speed of Shelly Brown that gets this infield single. It's a clean field and throw by the senior Jenny Dalton. That looked close, but it looks like Brown gets it by a step. So now Tammy Storset, who singled in the first. She slaps one as well to Dolan. Carey will make the play to first. There's two down as Brown moves over to second. And what Teresa Wilson is just trying to do there is get the runner, Brown, in scoring position for her big gun, Sarah Pickering and Jennifer Klein. If you can get at least one run off Dolan, you start to gain some momentum, and we know this game is all about momentum shifts. They were able to beat Dolan twice in the regular season. She got the Huskies twice. And now Sarah Pickering, who singled in the first, one of the hottest hitters in this College World Series, is up. Brown's down at second. And a pop-up on the 
the first pitch to Dalton at second. And Pickering is retired. Three complete in the national championship. Arizona in front. Five to nothing. We'll be back to Columbus after this. Arizona coming to bat in the top of the fourth with the five nothing lead over the number one seed Washington Huskies. And don't miss the National Spelling Bee coming up on ESPN2 Thursday at 4 Eastern, 1 Pacific. Nearly 250 contestants from around the country will be in Washington to see who is the top speller in the country. The National Spelling Bee on the deuce. And the top of the order for Arizona. Shriver slaps that one foul. Mike Andrea came in saying, we wanted to quiet the Washington band down. I think Arizona has done just that. Come out unscathed through the first three innings, the deadly innings if you're an opponent of the Washington Huskies. And two relatively quick innings. That's second and third. That one misses one and one now the count to Shriver. Brandy's 0 for 2 on the day, but did reach on a fielder's choice and scored in the second on Johnson's two-run double. One and one delivery from Eve Gaw. And that's a base hit for Shriver. The top part of the Arizona order has tremendous bat control, and Brandy Shriver showed exactly what bat control is all about. The junior just placed that ball in between a charging Tammy Storseth and Heather Tarr to get herself an infield single. Andrea Doty, two for two, two singles, and two runs scored. Bunts <laughs> one foul. Lead off. Hitter on board over at first, Brandy Shriver. Andrea Doty, the number two hitter. Had a 21 game hit streak at one point during the season. And they've got a pickoff. Shriver in trouble. And she's tagged out by Scorset. Pitch out, nice play made by Klein, and they catch Shriver off the base pass. That's her second base running miscue in the last two games. And a big out for the Washington Huskies is right away. They're going to silence, take a look at perhaps a missed signal, but a good call by Jennifer Klein getting Shriver off guard, and it's out number one for the Washington Huskies. Find the senior second team All-American catcher, a real force behind the plate. Heads up catcher, very strong, but calls a good game for the pitchers. Now one and one to Doty. One and two. And you watched her frame that pitch too to help this sell the home plate umpire. Now both of these catchers will look in the dugout and get their signals from the head coaches. Klein working very well though with sophomore Eve Gall. One and two pitch. That one misses low, two and two. And now a little huddle there out on the in the pitcher circle as Teresa Wilson heads out to talk with Gaw. Like any good coach, you're thinking about one or two batters ahead, and you know what lurks just in the shadows is a Jenny dalton Luddy pineda combination. So what she's telling Eve Gaw is to bear down. You've got a veteran infield behind you. You've got a strong outfield behind you. Let's just get out. we got Shriver. We're working with you. Just trying to calm the sophomore down. Teresa Wilson, the coach, the 1989 National Coach of the Year. And deservedly so, Beth, the Pac-10 Coach of the Year this year. She has yep. done a tremendous job. Washington wins the Pac-10. Doty gets a piece of that one and knocks it foul down the left field line. So the count will remain two and two. And in 90 degree heat, you look at Arizona and they seem pretty comfortable, obviously living in Arizona. And for Washington, a team that comes from a state that hasn't cracked 70 degrees yet, they said it's, it's a battle with the heat and humidity of Georgia. Slap the second Pickering charges. Nice play, two down.
I like the soft hands of Sarah Pickering, the junior. Quick glove, quick throw. Again, gets herself square that she can make the throw, moving away from first base. First team All-American, you saw she's got a great glove at second base. So now Allison Johnson steps to the plate. Two for two, a single and a double and two RBIs. Brought in both runs in the second inning. Cats scored three in the first, two in the second. We open up this 5 nothing lead in the national championship game. 1-0 the count. That's in the dirt, 2-0. Continues with the hot bat, seven of nine in the regional, and hitting 360 in the World Series. Nice. Swing and a miss. Two and one. And what makes it so tough to face Arizona is they send up three lefties right away. Then you go to two righties, but when you're a right-handed pitcher and your ball usually breaks into the strike zone of left-handed hitters, it becomes a very challenging task. High ball three. Ball trying to work the outside corner. Hate to put somebody on base if you're Washington just before Dalton comes up. Slap foul. Count now full to Allison Johnson with two away. Arizona 57 and 9 on the season. Washington 59 and 8. They were the top two ranked teams coming in, and they have gone unbeaten through the postseason to get to this national championship meeting. Three-two pitch, slapped for a base hit. Johnson three for three now on the day. And you see the versatility of Allison Johnson at work. In the second inning, she had a two-base RBI. And here is the slapping ability. The infield signal just gets by the shortstop, Tammy Storseth. And Allison Johnson gets herself aboard for the third time. Johnson the quickest on the team, so let's see what happens. If Mike will send Johnson, that would leave first base open for Dalton. And then you have the chance to get pitched to Dalton. Two down, Johnson at first. That one misses low and inside. After the three run home run, Dalton came up in the second inning, was actually the first batter that Gaw faced after replacing Heather Meyer, and she walked her. A couple of hits in the inning for Arizona, and Dalton rips one foul. True hitting form by Jenny Dalton. You watch her stance, you watch everything, how she approaches the plate. She's got a soft front side, very soft hands. Mike Andrea likes the front arm to be in a, a left form. The bat resting on your shoulder and then attack it. But he wants the weight balanced. And I've not seen Jenny Dalton take an off-balance swing yet in this World Series. One and one to count to Dalton. Runner goes, Johnson safe down at second. So now Jennifer Klein and company are left with the decision, do they walk Jenny Dalton with first base open and face Luddy Pineda? Or do they pitch to her? Take a look at Jennifer Klein on the rise coming out of her crouch. She realizes the throw is to the opposite side of the bag. And Johnson's got the stolen base. Johnson now five for five stolen bases in this Women's College World Series. 2-1 pitch from Gaw. Way outside, and Johnson will move up to third. So the Cats have something going with two out here in the top of the fourth inning. May I have your attention, please? Jesse Castellan. You gotta be thinking, Jesse maybe Castellan put Jenny Dalton now on now. She's got that tremendous RBI power, number one in the nation. That pitch just gets away. 
a rise ball to the outside and gone an outside pitcher. Dalton's taken off for first. <laughs> Thought she already had the walk and was going to try and sneak second base. And that one, the ball four to Dalton. So they do decide to put her on. Second walk issued to Dalton today. And Mike Candrea said if we face a Pac-10 team in this College World Series, seven, they won't pitch to Jenny Dalton. Well, we saw what happened when Washington chose to pitch to Jenny Dalton. But there is a reason that the senior has 64 base on balls. She's just too powerful. One of the few players in the women's game that can be so disruptive even when you don't give her a chance to swing. Got to be the best hitter, Beth. Best hitter, she's been drafted by the Women's Professional Fast Pitch League next year. Uh, Jenny says she's going to think about it, but has all the mechanics, a great swing. Letty Pineda walked in the first, grounded out in the second. That's in for a strike. And if you look at Letty Pineda, who used to ask her parents for Christmas if they would just send her to Mike Andrea's hitting camp. She has the same form as a Jenny Dalton. All the mechanics that Dalton has, Letty Pineda has. Pineda, a native of Tucson. Has a 17-game hit streak currently. And will never make it an 18-game hit streak. Johnson scores. It's 6-0 Arizona. That one is scooted through, and Johnson scores. And if you're Teresa Wilson, do you make a pitching change? Is it time to get Gall out? You don't want to dig yourself too much of a hole. Take another look at the fine hitting of Letty Pineda. This is an out curve. Pineda goes after it, and the strong upper body, the turn, gets by the glove of Tammy Storseth and brings home Allison Johnson. We've seen Meyer and Gaw now for Washington. Stephanie Burns, another one of their pitchers, but she was hurt earlier in the season. And her only pitching duty since March was an appearance against Cal earlier in this World Series, and she did not fare well. Krista Gomez at the plate with two on and two out. Gomez is 0 for 2 on the day. Washington. Excuse me, Arizona with two out. Managed to put something together and they get one run across here in the fourth. He's in for a strike, one and one. Gomez had a real strong year last year, batting 377. This year, batting better than 400. Great contact. Mike Candrea has moved her up in the order. Gomez rips one down the right field line. Foul ball. Those balls fly out just as fast from the left side of the plate as they do the right side of the plate. Eve Gaw has been out there for a while now this inning. And what they've got, Beth, is her timing down now. We had mentioned the difference in speeds for Gaw, but now Arizona, after watching their teammates face her and taking their swings in the on-deck circle, they're on her. They've got her timing and are just waiting for her to make a mistake. 25 pitches this inning, just seven in the last inning. That one's high. Two and two. Arizona gunning for their third national championship in the last four years in command here this afternoon. Gomez rips one to left center and the catch is made by Mindy Williams. Third out of the inning, Washington will come to bat in the bottom of the fourth, trailing now six to nothing to the Wildcats. Four Arizona on top of Washington, 6 nothing as we head to the bottom of the fourth. As you can see, Arizona's bats have been effective. But Tracy, the pitching of Kerry Dolan has also been masterful to this point for the Arizona Wildcats. The junior has stifled the offense of the number four team in the nation. Take a look at her numbers. Three innings pitch, three hits. That's an average of a hit per game. Now, Dolan had seen a lot of time in March. Mike Cangero was just going with Kerry Dolan. She had started to fatigue, and in those games, she had lost 
a couple pivotal games to Washington. Mike Andrea then went with the rotation of Dolan and Pitt, gave Dolan a chance to rest her arm and be a little bit stronger, especially for games like this. Jennifer Klein will lead off the bottom of the fourth for Washington. 2-0 the count. And remember, Dolan's had a full day's rest. Pitt pitched yesterday, so Dolan had a, a day to relax, kick back, and really go over the charts of the Washington hitters. That one misses away, 3-0. Dolan already number two all-time wins at Arizona, and if she has a good year next year, she will pass Susie Parra to become number one. Of course, Parra has a couple of national championships as well during her tenure at Arizona. Three and one, now the count to Klein. And a solid rip out to left center. At least one, Klein will head for second. The throw, not in time. Double for Klein to lead off the bottom of the fourth. The power of Jennifer Klein. Dolan's breaking pitch just carried into the strike zone, and Klein was all over it. Again, another hitter's pitch. Klein makes it a close play. And Klein will be uh, replaced for a pinch runner. So Klein with the double. And running and for a runner out there for Washington is Rochelle Rahal. Beth, I liked how Klein led off that inning. She waited for Carrie Dolan to throw a strike. She let Dolan go deep in the count and finally got into her three and one spot and picked her pitch to hit. And another single. Rahal coming around to try and score the throw from Shriver safe in the plate. And the Huskies are on the board. Who jumps on the first carry Dolan offering, a strike right down the gut of the plate. Church goes back up the box, and Shriver, whose arm is pretty good, gets the throw to Pineda, but Ray Hall's got some speed, slides to the back part of the plate, and pushes the Huskies' first run across the board. A nice job of going to the back part of home plate. So a runner down at first base, Michelle Church, and now Becky Newbury, the batter. 6-1, Arizona, nobody out here for Washington in the bottom of the fourth as they try and get something going. Newbury grounded out in her first appearance in the second inning. And now a discussion with... Stacy Hill coming out for Arizona. I can imagine... They need to tell Carrie Dolan to perhaps vary her speeds a little bit. She's throwing a lot of fastballs, which have hung in the strike zone, and Klein and Church both took advantage. A reminder, coming up on ESPN2, it's the ultimate inline challenge presented by Rollerblade. That will be Thursday, May 30th, at 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. Ultimate inline skating on the deuce. Dolan, Pineda, and Hill finished with their discussion. And the first delivery, ball one. Becky Newbury, 384 hitter on the season. Had a hit and scored a run yesterday in the semis against UCLA. Right down the pike, strike one. Carrie Dolan, 34 and 6 this year. That's also on Arizona record. Most victories in a season. 
She has had to carry a lot of the load with the injury to Nancy Evans. And you can see her pitches just aren't sharp right now. She's a little shaken up after the leadoff double by Jennifer Klein. Her pitches are getting away from her. Still, no one is warming up for Arizona. Lisa Pitt, the number two pitcher, plays first base. Two and one the count. Three and one now to Newbury. Well, there was some inklings and some words that Dolan was having shoulder problems. As of yesterday, she was icing her shoulder down and just trying to work out some kinks. A problem she started to pick up in March when she had all the use. <laughs> Newbury's bunt is foul. So the count now full at three and two. Huskies trying to rally, down 6-1. Husky bench leading the charge and behind coach Teresa Wilson. 3 2 delivery to Newbury. Line to short, could be two. And the throw gets away from Dalton. Chernock and Dalton do not make a connection. The fielder's, an error. the fielder's choice by Chernock definitely to the back side of Dalton. You want it to the inside or right at the numbers. That is error number 24 for the freshman Michelle Chernock, who's had some problems at short. And Mike Andrea says sometimes our wheels come off. When our defense starts to make those miscues, our wheels can fall off. Janine Giordano to the plate. One and oh, and this just makes Dolan have to work that much harder on the mound. She had a three run double in the semis yesterday. And due to the error now, instead of two out, nobody on, nobody out and two on for Giordano. Line the Chernock, she'll go to third and they get the out. So Chernock comes right back and makes the play. Now one down. Newbury at second, Giordano at first. And Mindy Williams, who popped up to short in the second, comes to the plate. There's a single out to center field. Shriver stumbles, and a run will score for the Huskies. Giordano heads up play, gets into third. It's now 6-2, Arizona. <laughs> Becky Newbury scores, Giordano goes to third, and Mindy Williams with the RBI single. Mindy Williams, who had three hits in the game against Cal, provides some offensive punch at the bottom of the order. Schreiber almost overruns this ball, and what she does is she allows the runner to advance to third. She has no play at home. The throw should have been to third, and now Washington has runners at the corner. Giordano at third, Mindy Williams at first. Washington plating two runs here in the fourth, one out. And Heather Char to the plate, 0 for 1 today. But an opportunity here to do some damage. Carrie Dolan had a quick inning in the second, a quick one in the third, but now struggling a bit here in the fourth, and the error did not help. 1 0 the count to Char. And it just as Arizona got to the timing of Gaul and Meyer, Washington is getting to the timer, timing of Carrie Dolan. Off of Dolan's leg, Dalton will have to hurry, and the throw gets away from her. The runners will move up at least one bag, and it's now 6-3.
likes to do most of their scoring in the first three innings. Perhaps that was just a warm up because they are definitely hot against Carrie Dolan. Jenny Dalton again, body moving away from her. So does the throw get away from Lisa Pitt. And so many times throughout the season, it was one bad inning that put Arizona behind teams. And it's happening here in the College World Series where the defense falls behind pitching of Carrie Dolan. There have been some strong shots off the bats of these Washington Huskies against Kerry Dolan. And one of the problems right now for Coach Candre is number 11 right there is Lisa Pitt, the first baseman, is also the second pitcher. So there's no opportunity for Pitt to get up and work in the bullpen. She's playing first base. And giving some words of encouragement to Kerry Dolan. Number 28. And a pinch Leah hitter, Francis. Leah Francis, will hit for Shelly Brown. And that's a good move by Teresa Wilson. Shelly Brown, two for 14 in this College World Series. She has been struggling. Francis with the 262 average. She was starting in the outfield when Shelly Brown missed several weeks with injury in the season. She's got a strong bat. Williams at third, Tar at second. Still just one out. Ball one to Leah Francis. Francis got plenty of playing time, about 35 games when Shelly Brown broke her finger in the middle of the season. So Francis moved to the outfield. This is the seventh batter of the inning. And a grounder gets over the head of Gomez. One run is in. And it's now six to four. So the pitch hitter, Leah Francis, comes through. Williams scores and Tar moves to third. Well, if you just get your bat on the ball, you can let the dry infield do the, the rest, the strong hop. And again, the important thing is the Huskies are getting a bat on the pitching of Kerry Dolan. And then Shelly Brown replaces Francis as a pinch runner, but a job well done by Leah Francis. RBI single to make it 6-4. And still runners at the corner now for what's coming up the meat of the order, two, three, four. Rightly so, Luddy Pineda wants to calm down. Carrie Dolan brings over the veteran Gomez. Now remember, Carrie Dolan was in this position last year, faced UCLA in the national championship game against Tanya Harding. Arizona fell short, and Carrie Dolan has been strong in this World Series in her one appearance and has a tough job ahead of her. Storces singled in the first, sacrificed in the third. Runners on the corners, one out. Bottom of the fourth inning. The top-seeded Washington Huskies have come roaring back to make this a ball game again. Trailing now 6-4. One and all the count to Storset. Eighth hitter of the inning to face Kerry Dolan. That's in for a strike. That one was a 65 mile an hour fastball. There you see Lisa Pitt, the first baseman, who was the winning pitcher yesterday. And who is the number two arm on the staff? She is one and one against Washington this year. One and one now to score set. That one foul down the left field line. So now one and two. And you can see the strong contact that Tammy Storseth even makes on a foul ball. Carrie Dolan comes in with a lot of power. That last pitch clocked at 66 miles per hour. Now, that's about the speed of a lot of the U.S. Olympic team pitchers. She's got speed, but consistently she's throwing in the 60s. And what you'd like to see, even though her change isn't her strongest pitch, let her throw a couple changes and get the weight, the off balance from the hitters. One and two the count. 
Runner goes from first to throw, is cut off by Dalton, and everybody's safe. So Brown moves up a base. Runners now on second and third. And just as much as Mike Candrea likes to run, so does Teresa Wilson. The cutoff by Dalton in an attempt to get Heather Tarr napping. She doesn't, and now runners at second third for Teresa Wilson. Base hit could tie it right here. Foul back into the cage. And still just one out. And this is a tall order because just as Dalton lurks in the shadows for Arizona, it's Pickering and Klein up next for Carrie Dolan. Two two pitch. Pop foul again down the left field line. They've battled all year in the Pac-10, split their regular season series three games apiece. Washington won the Pac-10 title by a half a game over Arizona. So this is, consider it the seventh game of the World Series. The winner takes the championship. And right now the momentum in a purple jersey and a big strikeout for Dolan. Second out of the inning. And an excellent call by the coaching staff of Arizona. Harry Dolan had been throwing all outside screwballs. She sets Dorseth up, comes inside with the inside drop. A great pitch by Kerry Dolan, and she threw it for a strike. So now two down, and Sarah Pickering singled in the first, popped up in the third. Heather Tarr at third, Shelly Brown at second. Washington trails by two, six to four, and Dolan with a strike. And that was again another good sell by Letty Pineda. And here is a hitter in Sarah Pickering that has an inside out swing. Both of her shots have been to the right side. So right off the bat, Dolan goes outside, doesn't give her anything to drive from inside out. 0 oh, and 1. This is inside, one and one. And a good pitch, perhaps a waste pitch, a screwball inside that won't fall for a strike. Just seeing if she could get Pickering to nibble at it. See what she comes back with. With Pickering at the plate now, the entire Husky lineup has had a shot at Kerry Dole in this inning. One and one, two out, two on. And a timeout called before Dolan's delivery. Arizona jumped out to the 6 nothing lead. And now Washington has scored four here in the fourth. One and one. Popped up to Dalton, makes the play at second. The Huskies strand two in scoring position, but they get back into it. Four runs in the inning. We go to the fifth, 6-4 Arizona. Probably. Women's College World Series got a whole lot more exciting in this national championship game. The last inning, Washington striking for four runs. 6-4 now Arizona as we head to the top of the fifth. And that has certainly fired up the crowd here in Columbus, Georgia. It will be Lisa Pitt, Julie Ray Tan, and Michelle Chernock, the bottom of the order, coming up for Arizona. Pitt 0 for 1 with a walk in the game. She flew out to right back in the first inning. And credit Washington, part of Teresa Wilson's game plan has been all year to keep your emotions in check and stay focused. And when they got behind the eight ball, 6-0, they didn't bow down. A long rest, too, for Eve Gaw. And the count one and one now to Pitt. Now you see the coaching staff, Teresa Wilson, John Rittman. Or check that, that was the SID, John Moore. You see, he has to sit there. They're that superstitious. Yep. That's his spot every game. 
She's still, in fact, uh, Coach Wilson has her clock set. He was telling me Pacific Coast time and before we set our clocks forward. So she's still four hours behind us uh, on, on her watch. That's how superstitious she is. Had to keep the same time as it was at the beginning of the season. Well, whatever works when you're successful. And <laughs> Three and one now to pit. Swing and a miss. Pit not getting good cuts at the plate, and it's important now. Again, if you're Arizona, you want to come right back and go at Eve Gall. Give your pitcher Carrie Dolan a little bit of rest. Oh, lever to Storset comes up firing and makes the play. One down. Pitt retired. And now Julie Ray Tan, 0 for 2 in the game. Ground out and a strikeout. Slaps one foul. There you see the Arizona bench, a little more concern from their dugout. Trying to get something going here in the top of the fifth. And we're seeing a tremendous pitching performance by Gaul. Ever since she came in and settled down Meyer and relieved her, she's done a great job. Great Tan with the butt and nailed at first. Great throw by Klein after Ray Tan did a super job of just deadening that bunt. This takes soft hands by Julie Ray Tan just to almost catch the ball with your bat. But the heady play by Jennifer Klein and the strong arm gets Julie Ray Tan much to her demise. She's been out twice on two very close calls down there at first base. Two up and two down, and Michelle Chernock, the number nine hitter, singled in the second inning. Popped out in the third. Chernock realized she had to fill the shoes of a big Laura Espinosa. Espinosa, 85 home runs, most in NCAA history, graduated. Chernock, more of a slap hitter, still finding her comfort zone. One and one now, the count to Chernock. Had an error in that last inning on what could have been a double play ball. And then came right back and made a nice play on a force out at third base. But Washington making Arizona field the ball defensively, and that led to four runs. Two and one now to Chernock. Chernock is a natural right-handed hitter, and so many times Mike Candrea will take a right-handed hitter and make them a left-handed slapper. So is the case with Michelle Chernock. Which foul down the third baseline. Two and two. After Chernock comes to the top of that Arizona lineup, three runs in the first, two in the second, one in the fourth. There you see Brandy Shriver. The leadoff batter for this Arizona team. Washington, all their four runs coming in the last inning. Two and two. Slap to short. Storset handcuffed. Not in time. Chernock safe at first. And the first error of the game for the Huskies. And the normally reliable senior Tammy Storseth just gets handcuffed. Again, the hop off the dry Georgia infield comes up a little too strong, and Michelle Chernock is a two-out base runner. Brandy Shriver. Up and in on her, 1-0. and oh. Reached on a fielder's choice and scored in the second. And single in the fourth, but then got picked off. Fouled away. 
And with Chernock's speed being on first base, she's got plenty of speed. The top of the order up, two outs. Wouldn't be surprised if Mike Andrea sent her. He can afford, if Chernock gets thrown out, to have Shriver come up in the sixth inning to lead off. See if he takes some chances here. 6-4 Arizona and Mike Candrea trying to secure his fourth national championship. Giving his signs out to Shriver. Chernock at first, two out. Right at Pickering. For a backhand for out number three. Washington coming to the plate in the bottom of the fifth. They trail it six to four back to Columbus, Georgia. Right after this. Six four Arizona. With Washington trying to rally as we head to the bottom of the fifth. They batted around the order last inning and scored all four of their runs. And now Kerry Dolan gets back to work against Jennifer Klein. There you see Nancy Evans, who was the other ace of this Arizona staff before an injury earlier this year. She had fractured her foot. There was some question. She was going to try and rough it out and play the season, but she went up to Mike Andrea and asked him what the best plan was, and he said, why don't you redshirt? And Mike putting himself in the hole, losing five starters from last year. Everybody said, you'll never be back. Proved a lot of them wrong. Losing five All-Americans, no less, last year. Strike to Klein, two and one the count. One for two today is Jennifer Klein. Doubled and scored the first run for the Huskies in the last inning. Two and two. A nice screwball on the knees. And we said if any pitching staff throws a screwball well, it's the University of Arizona. It started with Debbie Day several years ago, Susie Parra, and now Carrie Dolan. Still bringing the heat, too, was Dolan. 64 on that last pitch. Climb down to Gomez at third. Cross the diamond for at number one. A big, big out for Carrie Dolan. Getting out Jennifer Klein, who is hitting 545 coming into this game, who had the double to lead off the fourth. That's going to settle you down. Let you go right to work now against Michelle Church. Church with an RBI single in the fourth. This is low and away. And you can see the pitching style of Dolan. She starts on the outside corner, will use her screwball to fall for strikes as Teresa Wilson watches the junior from Arizona. 1-0 delivery. In for a strike, 1-1. One one. The screwball definitely falling for a strike. The change is not working. She's trying to go with the outside curve. Strike now one and two, and also a screwball. Dolan now ahead in the count on Michelle Church. Arizona faithful now trying to fire up the Wildcats as the Husky fans did for Washington in the fourth, and a big K for Dolan. Second of the game. Second out of the inning. A beautiful pitching performance that time by Carrie Dolan. After getting Church on two screwballs inside, she goes to the outside with the drop low and away. First two batters of the inning retired. And here's Becky Newbury, grounder to short, and another error. Couldn't handle that one, a hot shot. And Newbury on board due to a Chernock error for the second time. That is a rough infield, and we saw a couple of games in this College World Series where the ball really took a bad hop. That, more or less, Michelle Chernock is handcuffed. 
And they may have actually given a hit on that play. There's still only two errors up on the board. Two for Arizona, one for Washington. And Arizona had two in that last inning. So they will give the base hit to Newbury. And there's a shot just foul down the third baseline. Janine Giordano reached on a fielder's choice and scored in the fourth, grounded out in the second inning. What Newbury and Giordano are doing different is going after the screwball. They're swinging it. And Dolan, if she doesn't like a pitch that Pineda gets from the coaching staff, will just shake her off. Two out, here comes the 0-2 pitch to Giordano. Second K of the inning, third of the game for Kerry Dolan. And the side is retired. We go to the sixth inning, 6-4 six Arizona. Arizona liking the score right now. They lead Washington 6-4 to four in this national championship game as we go to the sixth. Well, the men will get underway this Friday. Catch the NCAA College World Series on ESPN at 4 Eastern, 1 Pacific. And then ESPN2 picks up the coverage Friday night at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. There will be a new king of the hill in college baseball this year. Check it out on ESPN and ESPN2. We had talked about the strength of the pitching of Eve Gaw, who came in of relief of Heather Meyer. She's done a good job, allowed only one run against a very ferocious Arizona Wildcat team. But this is a team now that's had a chance to see Eve Gaw. Every player's been up two times. See what they can do here in the sixth inning offensively. Andrea Doty is two for two, and is, or two for three rather, and has scored twice. Gaw taking her time. There you see Doty's number sitting 303 on the season. Two singles today. One and one the count. Slap foul. Doty, one of those juniors who's going to have a great time next year when the likes of Leah O'Brien, who's on the Olympic team, rejoins the team. Leah Brotz comes back. Nancy Evans is healthy. A couple recruits. There'll probably be a, a little uh, juggling out in the outfield, too, with O'Brien coming back, probably to claim a starting spot, I would imagine. Gaw takes care of Doty for out number one. Well, now the heart of the order coming up for Arizona. Allison Johnson singled and scored, doubled, a two-run double and then singled and scored in her third trip. So she's perfect on the day. <laughs> Slapped up the middle, four for four. So now you can see why Mike Andrea once thought about putting Allison Johnson at the top of the order with the tremendous bat control she has, but why not set the table for Dalton and Pineda? And now Jenny Dalton, three-run home run in the first inning, and she has been walked the last two times up. And I wonder how badly Washington wants that pitch back in the first inning. Without that swing, they might have the lead right now. I don't know so much that they want that pitch back, Beth, because that was a drop out of the strike zone. It was that swing back by Dalton. <laughs> How she ever managed to hit that ball out of the park? We're still wondering. A blue home run. Inside on Dalton, ball one. And many people talk about the focus of the senior All-American, Jenny Dalton. How do you stay focused when you never know? Are you going to be intentionally walked? Are they going to pitch to you? And both Letty Pineda and Julie Raytan, teammates of the All-American, have said they marvel at her intensity and her mind in the game. Popped up down the left field line. There will be a play, and 
Williams makes the catch, but then the throw gets away. Johnson will motor all the way around to third. Heads up, base running by Johnson on a miscue by the Huskies. Williams made the throw and then didn't make the connection with the infield. Mindy Williams here just a little overexcited, doesn't follow through on the ball and way over the head of Sarah Pickering. And we talked about Allison Johnson's speed, one of the fastest on the team. Mike Andrea had her coming to third on that throw. So an error charge to Williams and Pineda up now with two out and Johnson on third. Did she go around? Yes, she did. Strike one. Well, even when they got Dalton out, Johnson was still able to move around into scoring position. Eve Gaw really represents the attitude of this Washington Husky. We're going to challenge you. We're going to go right at you. She didn't back off on Dalton that last time, and she's going right at Pineda. Pineda with an RBI single already today. Looking to pick up another one. Two and one. She, too, walked earlier in the game. Two outs here in the top of the six. Arizona up by two, six to four. Three and one. Letty Pineda, the surprise of the Arizona Wildcats last year, was the backup catcher to Leah Brox. Played a little bit of backup at third base. Maybe got 60 at bats. And here she is a first team All American. The 3 1 pitch. Grounded the third. Bobbled. And in time to make the play was Heather Tarr. And the side is retired. Arizona strands Johnson at third base. Washington coming up in the bottom of the sixth, trailing by two. We go to the bottom of the sixth here in the national championship game. Arizona leading Washington six to four. The strength of the Pac-10 and the Arizona Wildcats, four teams from the Pac-10 came to this College World Series the first time ever. One conference has set half the field. The other teams, Princeton, USL, Iowa, and Michigan, two teams from the Big Ten. And three Pac-10 teams were in the semis yesterday. UCLA was also playing. Right now, Carrie Dolan concerned with the Huskies and Mindy Williams, one for two with an RBI single in the fourth. takes the first one outside, ball one. Both of these teams in the Pac-10 play had beat up on one another, handing each one the worst loss of the season. Washington winning 7-0 seven over, seven over Arizona. Arizona winning 9-0 over Washington early in the season. And that 7-0 win over the Huskies, believe it or not, Arizona was no hit by Meyer and Gaw in that one. They've got 10 hits today. 2-0 pitch to Williams. And she was hit by that one. So the leadoff hitter is on. And Carrie Dolan keeps working that inside corner with the screwball and just gets the back arm of Mindy Williams. See how that screwball comes in on the right-handed batter to handcuff you? Well, it did a little bit more than handcuff Williams. So the leadoff batter is on. Heather Tarr takes a strike. Reached on an error in the fourth. And grounded out in the third. Last time Washington got its leadoff hitter on, they scored four runs in the fourth inning. Way outside. Heather Tarr, one of those players who played Little League Baseball, had only about four or five years of high school softball experience, four years of softball in high school, and one in recreation before Teresa Wilson recruited her to come play for Washington. One and one. Face it for Tarr. 
Williams will hold it second. The two on and nobody out now for Washington and the top of the order coming up. Shelly Brown, one for two. Singled in the third. A pinch hitter came on for her in the fourth inning. And now Brown will head down to talk with Coach Wilson. Well, you've got runners on first and second, and Shelly Brown is notorious for her speed, the fastest on the team. So what Teresa Wilson is probably telling her is get the ball in play. Again, let Arizona make the plays, and we'll move those runners in scoring position. Arizona six, Washington four. Bottom of the sixth inning. Two on and nobody out for Shelly Brown. Both runners hold. And what a jump both of those runners are getting back. No one covering second base because Chernock covering third, Dalton moving to first on the what looks like a bun attempt. Allows Williams to take that big lead at second. 1-0 count. Now one and one. Drama building here in Columbus, Georgia. A women's college world series. The national championship at stake between Arizona and Washington. And time starting to get short. One and one. And that one dropped foul. So now Dolan up on the count on Shelly Brown. Maybe oh. Williams is at second, Heather Tarr down at first. All you want your hitter do, to do here is put the ball in play. One two pitch from Dolan. Michelle Chernock could do on this hard hit ball by Shelly Brown was stuff it. Williams by her already, hold on to it. And now the table is set for Tammy Storseth. Storseth with a single, a sacrifice, and she struck out swinging in the fourth. Bases loaded, nobody out. Down to Gomez, she goes to the plate, they get one. Williams is out at home. The steady defensive play of the veteran Krista Gomez with the infield drawn in. Dives it, gets the force out at home, and one down. So now Sarah Pickering comes up with one out. Pickering one for three, a single in the first. Bases still loaded with Huskies. She has seven hits in this College World Series, Beth, and is Deadly as Jenny Dalton can be, so can Sarah Pickering. Tar at third, Brown at second, Storseth at first. Strike one to Pickering. Three times up, Sarah Pickering to the right side of the field. Jenny Dalton at second base, playing in. Lisa Pitt, the first baseman, playing in. Trying to cut the run down at the plate. They're not playing it. Infield double play depth. She hit a home run yesterday in the semis, hitting nearly 550 in the series. Bases loaded. There you see Storseth at first. And let's see if they might bring in a pinch runner for her. Down at second base is Brown, and there's Tar over at third. And rightly so, with Storseth, a very important run here. She represents the go-ahead run. 
so with that mending sprained ankle Teresa Wilson decides to go to a substitute runner and that will be Leanne Rosser number 44 she has scored a run as a pinch runner in the series so Storseth comes out and Rosser the go ahead run now over at first base 0 and 1 the count to Pickering Carrie Dolan trying to work out of a jam here in the bottom of the sixth. <laughs> oh, two. Two screw balls for strike on the inside corner, and I'm surprised Pickering is just watching them. Pickering popped out with two on in the fourth, the final out of that big inning for Washington. Looking for a little redemption against Dolan. Two runs would tie it. Three would put Washington in front. 0-2 delivery. Foul ball. Here is a Washington team spent their first 41 games on the road as they waited for the completion of their new softball stadium. There's rumors that they offer the construction workers chocolate chip cookies and hats. Right now, all the Husky eyes on Sarah Pickering. Strikeout! Dolan, her fourth of the game! None bigger than that one, two down. Another tremendous pitching performance by Dolan, an off-speed pitch on the outside corner, a drop to the outside. After going with three consecutive screwballs to Pickering, Carrie Dolan comes outside with the off-speed drop and gets her full strike out of the game. So now base is loaded, two down, and Jennifer Klein, the batter, one for three, doubled and scored in the fourth. Dolan throwing a lot of strikes. Beth, those look like almost two good strikes. 0-1 the count to climb. Huskies trail by two. That one misses low and away, ball one. Jennifer Klein, one of the seniors, one of the originals from Westminster, California. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch from Carrie Dolan. Popped him up. Schreiber coming in on the run, makes the catch. Dolan works her way out jam Washington leaves three and we go to the seventh Arizona up by two one inning to play Arizona leading Washington six to four to determine the national championship and women's college softball the Wildcats coming to bat six seven and eight in the lineup Krista Gomez will start it out Gomez is 0 for 3 today. Pops one up to Pickering at second. One down. What a great job Eve Gall has done for the Washington Huskies in relief of Heather Meyer. Saw more action last year when Meyer was not on her game with 27 wins. Came into this game with 20 wins. And she has allowed just one run after coming in relief of Heather Meyer. Gaw has been able to hold Arizona in check while her teammates began making the comeback. And Lisa Pitt 0 for 2 today with a walk. And the difference between Gaw and Meyer, aside from a couple miles per hour, is Gaw is a lot crisper. Her pitches are breaking. She's hitting her spot. She's throwing exactly where Jennifer Klein's asking for it. 
1-0 pitch. Line foul down to Candrea. A nice stab over there in the third base coach's box. Guy could play baseball. <laughs> that he could. One and one. And a little check swing out to center field. Shelly Brown is there. Two down. Gauze's job to keep it just a two-run deficit and get to the bottom of the seventh. And first two batters have been retired here in the top half of the inning. And we might add very quickly, so Kerry Dolan, not much time to rest here. Julie Raytan, 0 for 3. Come on, and for a strike. Trying to close out Arizona. Strike two to Ray Tan. And there you saw the rise ball. Very effective against Julie Ray Tan. A pitch up in her eyes out of the strike zone. O2 to Ray Tan. Two out, top of the seventh. Arizona with the 6 4 lead. And chipped over Pickering's head. Base hit. First hit of the game for Julie Ray Tan, and that will bring up the shortstop, Michelle Chernock. Singled in the second, popped out in the third, and reached on an error in the fifth. And Arizona has stranded at least one runner in every inning of this game. What they need to do is try and get Dolan some insurance here. Chernock's done it more often than that. We saw her do it early in this series. Pitch from Gaw misses low. Next inning, Washington will have Church, Newbury, and Giordano. They're five, six, and seven hitters coming up. As of right now, they'll have to make up at least a two-run deficit. Slap to third. Nice grab by Tar. For the third out. So we go to the last half of the seventh. Washington to the tie. Three runs to win it. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Arizona leading Washington six to four. The Wildcats three outs away from the national championship. And Michelle Church will start it out for the Washington Huskies. She's one for three. Struck out her last time up. Grounded foul right into the Husky bench. And a run for cover. A smart jumping on the first pitch by Michelle Church. She was one of those seniors under Teresa Wilson. The team was built around one of six seniors, the nucleus, and said, Ever since day one, when the Washington program started, they've been focusing on this day. Their goal has always been to win the national championship. And a rip to Shriver in center wild. And just as we talk about Washington, Arizona, a team that's been on the road now for two weeks, playing the regionals in Tallahassee, Florida, then driving up here to Columbus, Georgia. Mike Andrea says, like Washington, there's a lot of unity in Arizona. Wildcats need two outs to the championship. Ball one to Becky Newbury. And for the likes of the seniors, Jenny Dalton, Gomez, this would be their third national championship ring. Newbury one for three with a single. And for Mike Candrea, who's done a tremendous job with Arizona. 
could win his fourth national title and there's been some speculation with the arizona baseball coaching position available mike andrea may be interested he it is confirmed that he does have an interview with the athletic director for the vacant baseball position for the university of arizona vacated of course by longtime coach jerry kendall so this may be his last game with the wildcat program fouled away two and one now the count to newbury and not many times do we see in women's softball coaches go from softball to baseball mike andrea comes from a baseball background and marvelously he's developed all the strategies in baseball modified them to a smaller playing surface and been very successful in softball strike two two and two he's pacing in that dugout look a little nervous over there two and two the count to newbury there you see arizona head coach mike candrea in his 11th year Dolan misses outside, full count to Newbury. This is the moment Carrie Dolan's been waiting for. The chance for redemption. The chance to get at Teresa Wilson and the Washington Huskies to win a national championship. Dolan just a junior too, she'll be back again next year. Newbury, face hit. One on with one out for Washington. The freshman keeps Husky hopes alive. Janine Giordano scored a run in the fourth. She struck out swinging in her last appearance. And on a 3-2 pitch, Carrie Dolan just a little bit too good of a strike. And Newbury, the tremendous hitter she is, coming in batting 333, jumped on it. She delivered the big blow yesterday for Washington. And she lines one to Shriver. Two out. Arizona one out away from a national title. And Mindy Williams, the last hope for the Huskies. And we may see the best player in women's college softball end her career with three national championships. Her freshman year, she missed the championship game with a sprained ankle. She has come back to be the most feared hitter and one of the most respected in women's college softball, Jenny Galt. And right now, the swing of her bat in the first inning is the difference in this game, a three-run home run. Ball one. Newbury at first, two out, bottom of the seventh. Washington needs two runs to tie it. Two and oh. Just in case you're wondering, Williams does have some home run power. She hit three during the season. She's up on Dolan now, two and oh. Grounded foul. Williams, another one of those seniors, had off-season shoulder surgery. Doctor said, how about red shirt? And she said, how about not? Hasn't missed a game in her college career. Two and one. Grounded to Dolan. Over the pit. Game over. between them, 10 runs. Never have we seen a more exciting women's college softball championship. These two teams have redefined the game. Mike Candrea, the head coach, said yesterday, this team will win the national championship, not with its talent, but with its heart. And they showed a lot of it today. 
They lost five All-Americans from a year ago, and they have returned to lay claim to the number one team in women's college softball. Arizona six, Washington four, our final will be back to Columbus, Georgia, right after this. Arizona six, Washington four, the final from the Women's College World Series. The Wildcats win the national championship. Carrie Dolan, the winning pitcher, 35 wins on the season, and she came up with the big pitches when she needed him to get the key outs for Arizona, but it was the bats early on, Tracy, for the Wildcats that got the job done. In the first inning, Jenny Dalton, the most feared hitter in women's college softball, pushed the runs across the plate. These two teams, number three and four in the nation offensively, and here is Dalton in the first going after an excuse me drop from Heather Meyer and a testament to her strength, the 25th home run of her career, of her season and the 76th of her career. Congratulations to the national champions, the Arizona Wildcats and the Washington Huskies on a fantastic season. For Tracy Warren, this is Beth Moen saying so long from the Women's College World Series.